What is up Spider-Man fans, we are officially entering the final stages of waiting the grand release which is a mere 4 days away. I know many of you are growing even more impatient with each passing day but for now I have some cool info I want to share with you guys and I think this will be helpful. First of all, tomorrow is the day the embargo ends so expect reviews to drop from all over the place. From what I was able to tell so far, people who got early review copies generally see the game in a very positive light placing it somewhere around 9 out of 10. I've personally seen some leaked gameplay footage as well, nothing that spoils the story though and from what I was able to tell, the game excels in both gameplay and visuals and people who finished the main storyline have also found it to be very good. So that really pumps me up and makes me hopeful we'll finally get the Spider-Man game we all deserve after all of these years of waiting. There are also some talks about possible secret rewards when you finish the game completely, like 100% finish but I'll go over that in just a second. In the meantime, we have official confirmation that the game will be available to preload on the 5th, which is precisely a couple more days from now. So if you already pre-ordered the digital edition, you'll be able to download the files on Wednesday and there's also going to be a day one update on the 7th, which brings more goodies like the photo mode, the new game plus and the ultimate difficulty. Speaking of launch day, for those who still have questions, the precise hour the game game is planned to go live is midnight eastern time, that is basically 11 pm central standard time or 9 pm pacific time. I will post a link where you can convert your time zones to see exactly at what hour the game goes live in your region, but if you're in Europe like I am, the game should be going live somewhere around 5 am British time and since I'm 2 hours away from that, that means it's somewhere around 7 o'clock in the morning for me as I'm an Eastern European and I'm super pumped up for that because it's basically in the morning and I can start my day just playing this game so that is awesome. I will also live stream the event so if you can't play the game for yourself or if you just want to chill out and hang out then you're definitely welcomed over there. But now that this is all out of the way I've talked about a possible secret reward we would be given when 100% completing the game and a lot of people are expecting a new suit that we have yet to see in the game or at the very least in any of the gameplay footage up until now. Keep in mind that while some folks did finish the game already, I don't think there's anyone out there who completed all of the other side activities and definitely not 100% game completion, so this is just speculation on a lot of people's part, but I will go onto it anyway just a little bit. There are many wild theories out there, like we have one in which like for example for 100% completion we would get a suit that could hold all of the powers, like you can generally put them all in the menu and then you could like pick from a main one. Honestly I think this makes the least amount of sense out of all of the theories as you can only ever use one button per ability so not more and basically you can easily switch powers anyway in the pause menu just like how you can switch your suits which is you know the press of a button so I don't think this one is true. Another one would be that the advanced suit will be in gold rather than with the white spider logo so that would be changing like instead of the white spider logo you would have a gold one that sounds pretty exciting but I could have sworn I've read somewhere this would be only available for the last mission or something along those lines and it's not actually a reward for 100% completion. So I'm seeing mixed results, I'm seeing mixed voices here and there, not really sure what to make of this but I see a lot of people expecting something, at least a reward for completing the game fully and I honestly also expect that as well because we're talking about Insomniac who always puts something like this in their video games. So all in all I'm super pumped up as well. Speaking of secret items, one way Insomniac could handle this would be somewhere similar to how God of War does it. If you didn't know, in God of War you can unlock certain items if you finish on the highest difficulty and when playing on New Game Plus. These are all available in Spider-Man as well, like we also have a New Game Plus, also have an ultimate like difficulty, so there should be some type of reward in it. It might be a suit, which I'm really hopeful for, but there might be something else like an ability, maybe just some cool art over there, not really sure, so we're gonna wait and see there's just a few more days until then. As for the post main story gameplay, there are quite a handful of people who managed to finish the story as I've said and we now know what you get at the end of it. There's a congratulations screen and it pretty much tells you that you can now well play in free roam like the usual and there's a lot of side activities you can pick from but there's also like an information on how to change the time of the day. Like as you know Insomniac has said that that is done manually, you can manually change the time of the 
the day at the end of the game and you can do so by going at research stations and these should be all over town I'm pretty sure they are the boxes you see scattered around by Oscorp I might be wrong though maybe it's the one in the lab where Peter works I'm not really sure so if anyone can confirm this I couldn't find any info on research stations and I've like looked around quite a bit but yeah Google comes uh, empty-handed so yeah pretty much that this is all the info that we have for today and this is all the preparation you need basically just remember tomorrow we have reviews the day after that we have the preload and then on the 7th we have the live gameplay which is 12 a.m. EST or whatever it's 5 a.m. British Standard Time and for other regions I'm not really sure but I will post all the links in the description box but this is all the time that we have for today I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then a like and a subscribe would definitely be appreciated and you would forever have my gratitude but yeah I will see you guys in the next one so peace out